Each year, vaccines save millions of lives the world over. Do you know how vaccines were discovered? Today, let us dive into the fascinating history of vaccination. Smallpox was a disease that terrified people for thousands of years. During the 1700s, this disease took approximately 400,000 lives each year in Europe alone and left hundreds of thousands more living with scarred and disfigured faces. The smallpox virus could spread through a town like wildfire, bringing high fever and a blistering rash to everyone who caught it. Half of those who contracted the disease would die within weeks, and there was no cure. Smallpox is a contagious viral disease that has devastated populations since the dawn of humanity. Smallpox skin lesions have even been found on the faces of ancient Egyptian mummies from 1100 BCE. When Europeans introduced the disease to the New World, smallpox became instrumental in the fall of the Aztec and Incan empires. For many years, English physician Edward Jenner had heard tales that dairymaids were protected from smallpox after they had been afflicted with cowpox, a similar disease that affects cows but is not fatal for humans. In 1796, he removed material from a dairymaid's cowpox lesions and transferred it into two scratches he made in the skin of an eight-year-old boy. The boy developed a minor fever and discomfort, but soon was completely recovered. Later, Jenner inoculated the boy with material from a smallpox lesion, and no disease developed in the boy. In 1798, Jenner published additional findings in an inquiry into the causes and effects of the variolae vaccinae. He called the procedure vaccination, which stems from vacca, the Latin word for cow, and began to send cowpox vaccine samples to anyone who requested them. Jenner was not the first to vaccinate against smallpox. However, his work is considered among the first scientific attempts to control infectious disease. Physician Stefan Riedel writes that it was Jenner's relentless promotion and devoted research of vaccination that changed the way medicine was practiced. Eventually, the smallpox vaccination was used throughout the world. By 1979, the world was essentially free of smallpox, and routine vaccination was no longer needed. Thanks for watching. Follow us for more fascinating snippets from the history of science.